So today we'll tell you about what to expect during a visit at our office. Again, I'm Dr. Salil Kandwala, the Medical Director at Advanced Urogynecology of Michigan. Now there are several pelvic floor conditions that influence the bladder such as urine leakage, vaginal bulge or prolapse, and bowel problems such as constipation and bowel leakage. These affect at least one in two women and most of them unfortunately wait five to 10 year years before seeking care. The main reason why they wait is they just don't know what could be done. And, but there are some fantastic solutions we have that are very uh, easy to institute, some of them even in the office. So once women know about it, they don't want to wait. They want this condition to be taken care of. No woman wants to keep wearing pants. A lot of women have this problem and are waiting to get this resolved. However, we only have a few slots, a few patient slots per day to see them. So we have therefore made several changes to improve our efficiency and throughput. And let me tell you about those changes. So how is our patient flow? So first of all, you'll be asked to come with a fully completed history form. If you've seen my other introductory videos and some other videos, you will see how much I keep talking about these history forms because it is very important that you come with them completed or else we could get in trouble. You know, we can make a medical error. You may have already watched my other website. I know the, about the educational video pertaining to your particular condition. And when you come in, so what you would have done is completed the history form. You would have watched a particular introductory video for that condition and then you'll come in. So we'll typically ask you to come about 10 to 15 minutes before your appointment. And most patients like that because sometimes they're rushed, they're coming in, they just don't wanna come right back. And then we take their blood pressure and it's high. So they prefer, they wanna wait in what I call the welcome lounge. It's not called the waiting room, it's the welcome lounge. And they do not feel rushed when they're sitting there for a few minutes. Then within 10 minutes, once you feel that you're okay, they will take you back to the clinic area. Your history forms will be handed over uh, to my team and they'll review it while your vitals are taken and you're asked to give a urine sample. You will then be taken to what's called the preview room where your history will be discussed by my team. So they'll go over the history in detail, go over some points. If there's any labs to look up, they'll look it up in the system. And at the same time, your bladder will be scanned to see how much urine is left behind after you've urinated. You will then be escorted to the examination room where you'll get ready for the urogynecology examination. You've already seen that information in the introductory video as to how do I do these exams. So I shall come in, I'll introduce myself to you, and we shall then review your history, complete the proper urogynecologic examination, and do the appropriate testing. This process takes about between five to 10 minutes. By the end of this evaluation, we shall know exactly what your diagnosis is. You will then be moved to the consult room. And in the consult room, we shall debrief the findings. So we'll show you the video if you had a prolapse of the pelvic organs. We'll review the findings that we just had with the urodynamics or the examination and what is the implied diagnosis. And then we'll go over the next steps. Our goal in our office is that you will your entire visit will be busy, means something will be happening. You will not just be sitting around vacant in a room just waiting for us. Your examination time is about 15 to 20 minutes and we shall make sure that you understand what was done during that examination. We strive to get everything done at one visit to make it more efficient for you so you don't have to keep coming back. Women now work, they don't sit at home and they cannot keep coming back to the office. One of my team members will be assigned to you to be your specific point of care person throughout your journey with us. So in the consult room, the POC will go over the following. She'll explain to you what was done, you know, which educational videos you need to watch. She'll set up a time to call you the next day for a quick review of what was done because sometimes I may go over some things, but then you forget. So you go home and then you say, oops, I wish I had asked him something. Or if you have a little discomfort from the exam, she will call you and take care of that. Then she'll also set up a date and a time for what's called a preview call after you have watched some videos that we tell you to watch and have sent in your diaries and we have received all the labs, including the unit analysis. 
Once that is done, then she'll set up your consult date and time with me. The consult visit could be virtual. So you do not have to physically come to the office. It can't, with, so it could happen on any day. So we have a few days lined up and at your convenience, you can pick and choose when do you want to do that virtual visit. You could literally do it from anywhere. The premise is we have completed all the physical assessments and this is simply for a face-to-face -face review. So whether you come into the office or you do it virtually, you know, we have all the information we need and you have watched all the pertinent videos that you need to do. The advantage is that you do not have to lose time from work. You literally can tell your workplace that, hey, I'm just walking away for 20 minutes in a corner uh, because I need to talk to my doctor. And it is now a known event. Post COVID, it's not uncommon. And it can be done from wherever you want. You, all you need is your cell phone and a internet connection and you are on. We will give you the doxy.me link and so you know how to get on to that link with us. So what is our promise to you? Is to get your treatment started within one to two weeks of your first visit. One to two weeks. You get me the information, we do it. Make sure that you understand the different options of treatment and why they're being offered. And my goal is to get all this medical information to you in a very simple manner that is you can understand. I'm not talking medically, I should be talking English. Then, and same time, show you this, give you the information which is evidence-based. It's not just what I feel and not what's my hunch. It is actually factual based upon evidence. What is your promise to us? And your promise to you and us is to come up, because it's not just me, it's eventually your health. It's to come up with fully executed history forms when you bring them in, watch any pertinent videos prior to arrival, arrive on time, please do that. Otherwise other patients get backed up and then we have to reschedule your visit. Ask any pertinent questions to make a note of that and part of your goals. Provide us the information of any specialist that you have, such as you know cardiologists that we need to have the information in case we need to get a hold of them. So make sure it's not just your primary care physician, but you may have a cardiologist, you may have a pain specialist, you may have some other doctors and on oncologists. Make sure we have that information. So again, what is your promise to you? After the visit, you will watch the appropriate educational videos promptly, complete the voiding diaries and the intake log if you have to do that. Set up your preview visit my, with my team. Set up my chart. We'll set, help you set up the doxy.me for virtual visits. And without you holding your end of the bargain, I cannot come through in one to two weeks. Once you do this, I promise you, I can institute care right away. Don't forget that all these steps are actually working towards your treatment. So now let's see how we can break this up. Your role, complete all your history forms fully. Our, my role, direct you to watch the correct pre-visit video. Arrive on time, we will take you back on time. Clearly state your goals. We'll do a thorough and complete evaluation and then come up with proper expectation goals. After the visit, watch the relevant videos and complete the diaries if applicable and set up your preview visit. We will set you up for the consult visit and start your treatment. Keep up with your follow-up visits. That's important, not just the first visit, but the follow-up visits are equally important and we'll make sure that you continue to do well. So it's a handshake. You and I work on this together. And that is this whole journey about right from the moment you start filling up the history forms at home, watching that initial video at home, making that appointment and confirming that appointment with us and coming to the office and until you are taken care of. And even after that, you want to make sure that you are happy, you're satisfied, but you want to maintain that satisfaction over time. Thank you.